If the market sentiment doesn't tell you all you need to know, then you might want to open your eyes because the breaking fear and greed index has fallen to 41 fear, which is its lowest reading since November of 2023. This should put all of our concerns at ease, guys, because as we can see, if the market sentiment doesn't tell you at all, then you might want to open your eyes. Okay, so this is something that I'm fairly sure is happening for the stock market itself, and it appears like everyone is experiencing fear at a fear frequency right now, and what often happens is that the reverse always happens, right? Right side notes, guys, I'm looking at the Dow Jones, and basically it should hold support, and there are a lot of bullish divergences. If it does hold support, guys, and if it doesn't dump a lot lower, then this comes at the perfect time right before we see another like up. Yes, in the short term, there may be a lot of volatility due to external events and black swans, but after this is all of a sudden done and over with, guys, it's literally only going to go up from here on out. However, some people will be left behind, so don't let it be you. It's not the nature of ice, so let us continue. One more thing, guys, the fear is so high right now, and what's funny to me is the Dow Jones is literally above 37K. Think about that. So the sentiment is super high right now, or the fear sentiment is super high, guys, right? So, so many people are fearful, but the price isn't even dumping that much. Think about it during fear times. You want to buy during greed. You want to sell. Look at what the crypto market was last month, extreme greed. Now, where is it greed itself, guys, right? We're probably going to head back to neutral, but look at that, guys, every time we're at. These extreme greed levels, you may want to be cautious, but every time we're at these fear levels, guys, or extreme fear, you know, buy everything up, guys, and we're going back to that level right now, right now, right? And people don't know this, but there's an uptrend happening with the greed, the fear, and greed. Index, guys, basically what's going to what's going on is look at this right and uptrend. Are we going to touch it, or did we just touch it right now? Interesting, guys, right? Look at that HMM, which just means we're probably going to head back towards extreme greed soon, sooner rather than later, why well? The sentiments of the markets are fearful. It seems like the institutions, the banksters, the elite that control it all, guys, they're supposedly bullish. Why? Because breaking Germany's biggest federal bank with $350 billion in asset under management will start offering crypto custody services. Right? Because to fulfill increasing corporate demand, guys, right? It's not only for Bitcoin, but what crypto custody services. Remember what we talked about before, how Ripple is thinking like a bank exactly. We called it guys Medeco and standard custody that they bought right now. These people are completely bullish is because they want everyone in the glass. Look at that, right? So I watched a video of them talking about how they're launching Bitcoin and crypto custody services to institutional customers. And I, Juan, I looked at the video guys and basically they're extremely bullish, right? They're extremely bullish, the reason being, is because they're forced to why look at this moving from Main Street to Wall Street, we see growing recognition of the promise of blockchain technology to improve the plumbing of. Financial flows that large institutions rely on guys, right? So these people are forced to innovate or adopt this new technology, which is blockchain guys, right? So obviously they're going to want everyone in. And this is where all season begins, not right now, but sooner rather than later it will. Because Elon Musk just gave the signal the mainstream media having to cover Dogecoin as a top 10 crypto, right? And you guys can see Elon Musk right there that has been, I guess, promoting right the commander, the head chief of the Dogecoin army or whatever their community is called, guys, right? And if Dogecoin moons or flies up, what do you think your other meme coins and S coins will do obviously go up as well? Because that usually happens during what season, right? And not to mention it's funny. To me, how from Forbes shock leak reveals China could be about to blow up the price of Bitcoin, Ethereum and XRP. It's just funny to me why they always have to state XRP in there in the same basket of Bitcoin and Ethereum right now. They're talking about the spot guys and just a year after Hong Kong. Gave regulatory clarity for digital exchanges in June of 2023. They are again demonstrating a push toward being a leading, if not progressive financial hub for the region by allowing spot Bitcoin ETFs, predicting it will likely encourage similar regulatory frameworks around the world guys. Right, this move will potentially attract more institutional investors and capital inflows into the cryptocurrency market across Asia. Look at all that money that will enter this sphere, guys. Right, they don't think that they will obviously have a FOMO feeling towards all coins in today's video. It's all about all coins, guys, or basically, but we had to set set the stage first, set up the stage first for it to make sense. The move also paves the way for increased liquidity, better price discovery, and enhanced market stability, guys. Right. Now, what's funny to me is check this out. It is now a fight for capital between Hong Kong and New York to flow into their Bitcoin ETFs, right? So that was going to be competitive, but I wanted to mention ETH. Let's see here, guys, the Hong Kong spot Bitcoin ETF and Ethereum, there may be a demand of 25 billion dollars for Bitcoin and Ethereum exchange traded funds ETFs in Hong Kong right now. $25 billion in. Demand guys, we're talking about an Ethereum ETF that's ridiculous, right? The reason why is because with Bitcoin, there's much more liquidity and with Bitcoin, you don't even need that much liquidity to move prices now, insert Ethereum. Exactly, Ethereum is Bitcoin on steroids, guys. Do you not see what's?
are about to happen, and this is how they spark alt season. Because while May 23rd is the final deadline for some applications, if applicants start updating their filings by April, it may be a sign for optimism A. Bloomberg analysts said right for the America Americans bought Ethereum ETF's deadline is May 23rd, guys, right? So hopefully that gets approved as well. Now, what is funny to me is I think it will, guys, remember all these are getting approved around the same time as the halving, right? And not to mention the charts, because this is altcoins excluding Bitcoin, guys. So this involves, this is a basket of all your altcoins, except Bitcoin, because Bitcoin is not an altcoin as of right now. So while some are panicking, others see a perfect backtest of the breakouts from the three long, the three years long accumulation zone. No folks that's not bearish, this is extremely bullish, right? I'll tweet this out in a few weeks and tell you. I told you, so why remember the Ethereum? ETFs are going live soon, if not already approved from Hong Kong right now. This is a basket of your altcoins. What happened in 2016, guys, around the bottom, we broke out, we retested it and flipped it as support. And then we flew right, we're flying high, guys, what happened in 2020 cycle round at bottom. Broke out, retested as support, and we started flying. We needed to retest it as support, guys, right for market structure, and look what happened literally right now. And this news came out the dump was. Uh, accompanied by the war narrative, again, beautiful timing, right? So these people take advantage of all these things, guys. So why wouldn't you? Because this is a 2024 current cycle rounded bottom breakout retest, what comes next, right? And this is on the weekly chart, guys. So that's about like two months. Maybe in consolidation mode back here, a month or and a half of consolidation, guys. What about this time, right? Maybe a month, maybe less either, or we're very near indeed. That's the same, guys. That's a beautiful chart. Another chart, because this is Ethereum to Bitcoin. Okay, with all the panic that has happened over the last few days, all coins are still sitting in a falling wedge that has been in place for three years, guys. That just means we're because there's so much support. Look at that, right? It touched it. Throughout, literally since 2021, there is so much support, guys. If we break down, then that's not good, but they're probably going to hold. The reason being is because back in the 2018 cycle, guys, it seems like we're repeating that cycle or the 2017 demonic run phase cycle because remember that year, that's when the true altcoin season began, right? Things were flying crazy. I remember that. I remember to the state distinctly, guys, towards. The end of the cycle of 2017, there were coins literally 10 exiting overnight T, an explosion caused by a descending wedge buildup when what comes next is a breakout towards the upside. So they basically want to trap you so that you do not get priced out, guys, and do not get left behind, right? This is where all the money is made because it is basically not for each of us. But what is even crazier to me is that because of this, we have to add it and include it. Okay, then we go to this cycle accumulation. Let's see what happens next. The XRP, just think about it, XRP appears to be trying to get what it wants, it appears to be green. It is not crazy to say that 100 times for XRP, but at current levels of 40 something cents, does that mean 40 something dollars? Not to mention the replies of this tweet is diabolical. Everyone is fearful as of right now. So it is insane to me that you have meme coins, then you have the legit coins because this is the former CEO of PayPal, luckily says to Brian Garlinghouse, XRP can do a 46 times to hit the market cap of Bitcoin as of right now. If Bitcoin reaches $150,000 $100, during this cycle, it could be 100 times for XRP. Mainly due to the fact that each and every time I listened to Brad or Chris Larson before that, I gained a little bit more knowledge. Look at that right. They successfully connected these individuals. You have meme coins, and then you have these coins that literally have the former CEO of PayPal saying that every time I hear you, I'll hear you chat. Are all of you pals, guys? Gary Garlinghouse, Brian, every time I think about it, I gain a little bit more knowledge, but I wouldn't even be too concerned about it, people, because I'll coin. Hype cycles by Crash Capital Q1, we observe a downward trend. April is what highest hype guys right? so April may possibly we come back down to the summertime and it's the highest hype right and it just keeps on going guys I don't know about you but it seems like things are about to get extremely exciting let's pay attention and not in each of ways what is that so face me says see you